Good morning, guys. See how you have it tipped back? Tip it for there you go. A little bit more. And it. You want me to hold it like that? Yeah. No, bring it down a little bit. We look unnatural. Okay, then I'm not in it. There okay. you go. There you go. Hey, guys, good morning. We're still learning. Just forget it. Forget it. Sam was just folding these leggings. I got some of these from, um, where are these? These, they're the like, you guys said they're spank dupes, but I don't know if you mean just like by the way they pull you in because they're not the like leathery dupe. But I tried it out and I really like them, but they're the like 90 degree brand. I'll link them below. But Sam was like messing with them. He goes, ew, these are the gross ones. And he doesn't like my leather leggings. He thinks they're gross. Oh, I just yeah. tripped. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. I didn't mean to trip on you. He doesn't care. He seems very unbothered. Okay, so um, I we just filmed a whole clip, and I completely erased it. What I was saying is this week is just going to be fairly normal. Um, we have to finish. I have to finish getting my part of the, like, office sorted, and then we hopefully are going to get the actual guest bed this week. We'll see. I have to go to the orthodontist on Wednesday and I'm basically going to kind of tell him like my teeth didn't move at all last month. We talked about a three to four month plan. Here it is month four and they're claiming I have two more months left. So I really want my braces off and I'm going to ask if I can just have them removed in September because this is nothing's happening. They, they're not moving. They don't look any different. I'm happy with the way they look like really happy. So I don't know why I have to continue to wait two more months if they're not going to move or change in any way. Like they didn't move at all this past month. So that's kind of just what we're doing today. I am breaking out so bad, oh my gosh. All right, but I need to get some coffee in me because I've been up for like way too long now without coffee. Okay, also, um, I got this watch. I believe I put it in the last vlog, maybe I didn't. We had a lot of just like extra footage in the last vlog. Um, but I got my Apple watch on Tuesday. I am so in love with it. If you are on the fence about getting one, get it. I've used it every single day. If you are working, it is like the best thing. That's what I said to my mom the other day. I was like, I don't see the point in like teenagers having them. Like maybe there is one. Um, I don't see the point in like that aspect. But if you're like someone who works, or you constantly like need your phone, get it. Because the other day I was doing something at work and um, I was away from my phone and I got an email and I was like, oh, I need to respond to this like ASAP. So it's definitely awesome. All right, so I just finished, it's like lunchtime now. I wanted to do my blog stuff first. So I just finished shooting this. I'm doing just like um, storage pieces from Amazon, like jewelry storage. So I'm covering this. I got some of this one. This is like my little, I keep my necklaces and rings in there, but I don't know. It's not the most organized, so I may not share that. Um, this isn't from Amazon, but I'll link one similar. Hey, excuse me. Um, this is, and I shared this in pictures, and I also got pictures of these. Um, so now what I have to do is edit all the photos. So we got the office completely completely organized. I'm so happy. So let me move this stuff over. Okay, so it's now all open now. Still in my pajamas. But it's all open now. I think we'll probably get a rug, but I mean we're not in any rush. So pretty happy with it. We're going to Bilo for one reason. Well, we were going to go for one reason, right? Sam has one of those like jars of change and he just puts change in there uh, whenever. And then like just every now and then he'll decide to, you know, but there's a lot of money in there. Let's go ahead and see how much is in there. I wanna buy usually is. Yeah, I guess. Okay, I can't tell buy whatever you like want bag trash up and left it to be picked up or if somebody's trash just fell out on the way but there's like there's been like three or four white trash bags on the side of the road um but we are going to the look they got their house 
Oh, that actually didn't have a ton of damage. We were supposed to go to the grocery store and change out the, the change, and he forgot the jar. They Told him to turn around and he didn't do it. Clarified, there's a coin store at the grocery store. Yeah. But anyway, so back what we were saying back there about the tree. So last week we had a horrible, horrible storm. Um, and I mean, trees were down all over the place. And this one house, God, I felt so bad for them. So a tree that is probably 150 years old, stands much taller than their house, huge oak tree fell on their house. And I mean, you could just tell it, it, it was, it was hefty and it was going to take a lot. They got it cut and it looks like it only ripped off the front part of their roof, which is awesome because I really thought for sure that that tree destroyed their front of their house. Like that tree was that big. The tree was heavy enough. It would have hit the roof. The it probably so would have beautiful. had to been torn down. It would have. Oh yeah. The ju like the joists and the ceiling and everything. Yeah. It would have crushed right there. And the house is old. So, I mean it, uh, wow, I'm very surprised. But I felt so bad for so many people because you would like, just see construction crews kind of like you know quickly moving about trying to just get the roads clear and the power lines clear and all that stuff um and, but like people still had full-blown freaking oak trees like uprooted in their yard and like i don't know if you guys have ever had a tree uproot in your yard but it is so hard to get that sucker like just completely taken care of like even more than a tree that gets struck by lightning and it dies like most of the time you can just have somebody come cut it down but if a tree uproots like that's just a pain um, we vlogged since yesterday no, no we literally just vlogged today so, so they didn't see the boys got a 5.1 win yesterday oh yeah okay who the boys dortmund his favorite soccer team that is our goal in life actually before we have babies we have to go to a dortmund soccer game in germany we have to do it. It's on the bucket list. I've been to Europe twice. Uh, I've been to Madrid both times, Barcelona both times. And then I went to um, Paris once. Let's see. When you technically went to Germany? Caracas. Then you go no, to well, I don't count that I was in Germany because I didn't touch the land. I was in the, Madrid, uh, the Munich airport. I've been to, is it Segovia, I think, is that where I went? Um, Caracas, little places. And I really wanna go back to Paris. One of our friends is um, from France, and so it would be cool if like they could go with us too one day. Um, I know they're actually planning on going next year, I think. We, but I, I wanna go back to Europe so bad. I loved it. Both times I went, it was just so dreamy. But my brother, actually, their plane got delayed and for like a full day. And so my brother got to like walk around Germany and he loved it, had so much fun. Cause they, I mean, they were just like, look, there's nothing we can do. We're not gonna strange you at an airport. Go ahead and just hang out in Germany. So he got to spend a day in Germany and he loved it. So that's kind of a goal is to go back. Like I just, I wanna go back so bad. But before we have babies, we gotta, gotta do that. So we are about to make dinner and it is not spaghetti this time. We are making, what's it called babe? Uh, chicken, Alfredo. chicken Alfredo. Oh my gosh, I've been drinking so much water lately. Sam, what the heck? What? Who washes mushrooms like that? Who taught you how to do that? That's... How do you wash mushrooms? I think how crazy people wash stuff. How do you wash the potatoes and stuff? Not like that. We're gonna get one day a flat top at, uh, outdoor grill, because my daddy has one. We love it. I would like to have just an indoor, like, this same size, just an end of, well, we're gonna get, we're gonna have a, one, get a bigger one. We're gonna have a gas, though. Um, you can have gas flat top. I'm not having a flat top. Because here's half, the thing. Half burners and a flat top on the side. Let me teach you a little something about Mr. Robinson over here. 
he thinks, oh, it's a flat top. I can make as big of a mess as I want, and it doesn't matter because it's a flat top. He never cleans up his mess. Yeah, on flat top, I got to just take the cleaning tool and push everything to the trays. Who does that, though? Me. No, me. Thank you. So, I'm getting a gas grill because he'll have to actually be careful because, like, he's just bowling china shop, throws stuff everywhere, doesn't matter, doesn't care. Because he's just like, oh, it's flat top, you can just take a Clorox up to it or whatever later. We don't have any red wine, do we? No. So, I do not want a flat top. I don't like cooking with a flat top. Never liked it. It's so much easier. So, we actually, I'm not going to show the house plans or even the house because that's way, way, way early. But also, just like, for whatever it happens, safety reasons. But we found our, like, dream house plan. Um, and so, we have officially started, like, saving up for a house very slowly. It'll probably be, what, what do you think, three, four years before we build? Two, I'll three years? Hopefully three to four, but I mean it might I think it'll be two to three be longer. before we build. But the biggest reason that we wanted to find the house plan was because, and I've looked through hundreds of house plans, and I've never loved one as much as I love this. I love the outside. I love the inside. Everything about it's perfect. Um, it's perfect size. But the reason that we wanted to find our house plan now is because we wanted to know like how much of a down payment we needed because I'm trying to have as big of a down payment as possible because PMI is a real thing and it is expensive so if you have over I think it's over I think it's over 20% I could be wrong um, if you have an over 20% down payment legally a bank can't give you PMI and so like there was this thing I saw on Pinterest and it was like for the exact same size house, if you have like 5% down, you would pay like $1,600 a month for your house payment. If you have 22% down, your that exact same house, the house payment would only be $1,100 a month. So I will do whatever I need to do, save whatever I need to save, like forfeit whatever now, so that in the long run, I'm not spending 500 extra dollars on freaking insurance like I think it's called like private mortgage insurance something something insurance I don't know but I don't want to have that high of a house payment because I couldn't you know save all that money so we actually opened up last week last week a uh, savings account to start saving for our like a different savings account to start saving for our house so really excited about that even though it's very far in the future, but you gotta plan. Baby, do you know where my phone is? Hold on one second. I am. My purse. Can't, can't do it. I feel like you could totally be that type of guy though. All right guys, we're gonna eat dinner. <laughs> He's so mad. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay. Love you. <laughs>